What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with a remake of a video we did earlier. Uh, I'm here with Erickson. What's going on, buddy? Um, Not much. Uh, I'm so heartbroken about the last video. Um, this uh, this series, I think, is is always, always fun for people to watch. And what sucks is I remember now some of heard when I used to do videos, uh, a lot more videos too. Um, some of the shitty things that would happen. I remember like recording entire like half hour videos and realizing like my headset was unplugged or something like that. And it just uh, fucking sucks that that has to go to the wayside. Cause I don't know. I like that video. And, uh, unfortunately, um, only me and you, Erickson will know the joys of making that video. So <laughs> um, it was a good time. Yeah, absolutely. So here we are. Uh, we're redoing it. Uh, this was our CWL week six, uh, versus North members. Uh, <laughs> ended up being a lot closer, I think, than we expected. Um, you got to watch. You watch the end of the war. I was on and off. I didn't get to see a couple of live attacks, but they were on a roll right at the end. They were almost perfect for the last almost eight attacks. What was it? It was like seven, seven, seven three stars in their last eight attacks. They got seven three stars in a row on their last eight attacks, and they just needed one more, and they would have had it. Yeah. Run for the money. I uh, just went through the recap, um, and yeah, no, we we came out swinging, and we we had a great war ourselves. Like that's that. Let's let's not be honest. Let's be honest about that. And we've even though we didn't get a twelve v, um, still like we otherwise had a perfect war. I would say, and um, uh, so for that North remembers to put us. They were in position to win at the end. Um, they just had to be perfect and unfortunately just fell one short. Um, but anyways, awesome war. That's why we play this game. And, uh, so I went through all the, all the attacks. I left some of them out so that, um, you and I could sort of go through them and talk about the, uh, different attack strategies in Town Hall 10. Um, uh, we had over, I think over 50% 10 v 10 hit rate in this war. Yeah, I think we had a 57%. And... You know, like I fucking like I pissed me off on stream last night. Um, when he was saying, you know, change he says like change your name to spam I what the, what are you talking about? And then i as I'm going through, I label I usually don't do this when I make my little list. And I label all the attacks. Like with the attacks I'm gonna show, and it's like hog, bitch, ice witch, queen charge lalo, sui lalo, dragon, bitch, miners, hog, ice witch, dragon, miners. Lalo, Lalo, Hog, Bitch. I'm like... Yeah, there was a huge variety of what we used in this. I think we pulled every <laughs> single trick out of the It's out ridiculous, of the absolutely. So, go fuck yourself, buddy. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so... The first one I want to show is is my attack, actually. The old Ice Witch. Um, but, I mean, like, like we talked about before. I mean, this is really just sort of a variation, I would say, of Bitch. Um, you're really just overwhelming the flanks with witches and i just jumped right into the re recap here because uh you know we both think the same. And that was a misclick on my wall record there i really did want to drop it right from uh right from six but wasn't it you saying maybe you wonder if it was better that i did that uh, i don't think it would have made a difference uh, either way uh, we're looking at 16 right yeah 16 all right <clears throat> So, I just basically charge it right up the middle. Um, these kind of bases, uh, what when when you're making this attack, why is this base so perfect for this attack? Well, one of the first things I look for is access to the infernos and whether your healers can travel safely. So, if your healers have to round a corner, uh, so like if. Uh, like, for example, right around 2 o'clock, 2 or 3 o'clock, you get those three archer towers uh, in a row there. If that middle one was an air defense instead, and you had to round a corner, then uh, you your healers would get picked off. Yeah, so that's an interesting thing to look for. Or just, uh, another thing is the way the infernos are, If when you reach the core of the base with your main group, if, you're, if you can access those infernos with it, not or it helps if you can do it with more than just the queen. This makes it a lot less risky. Yeah. Then you can get, uh, you can take them out, and they are the biggest threat to your to your ice witch. And what I liked as well is um, 
for this pace specifically, it met all those requirements you just said. And then these little open, every, the base is segregated in like a bunch of different sections. So there's these little openings that all the yeah, I, know, I, I didn't like that. <laughs> you didn't like that. Yeah. That made me nervous. I was like, I was like, I don't think my kills or my side groups, I think they're all going to tuck in, uh, but worked out for you. Yeah, no, <laughs> absolutely. I like to have my side groups wrap all the way around. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. So, I mean, that sort of variation of bitch um, is, I, I'm just finding it ridiculously powerful. I'm sort of fitting it into almost any style of, of base I can find. There's a few things that actually really uh, I find mess it up. First of all is Hound, uh, Hound Loon CC um, really messes with it. Yep. Or you know what else messes with it? Bases with clan castles that... Um, the offset clan so castle offset, where the yeah. CC goes to a side group. Yeah. Yes. Because if your <laughs> skellies accidentally pull out um, a clan castle full of Valks and they go towards your witches, it's uh, you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you need that in a controlled... You need to ha have the CC controlled and the, yeah. it needs to go to your wall wrecker and then freeze it <laughs> and it, lock it down in that poison so that your poison can kill it. So I just remembered which attack we're going to watch next. It's Tanu's attack on number 14. Okay. We were, um, <laughs> I'm going to pause it here at the beginning. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we watched this attack a handful of times on the stream. <laughs> and um, it looks really oh, good. Oh, this was messy. Yeah, like the, the blimp is good. And things start really well, but they sort of don't end well here. And <laughs> we'll see how dicey this turns out. So go ahead and play it now. All right. Um, but yeah, pretty really good value on the blimp. Like really, the blimp's job here is to create the funnel to start the start the lalo pathing, right? Well, it's to cut the chunk out of the base so that yeah. you can have that U shape of your balloons to pass through. Otherwise, they just can't go everywhere. Would have been nice if you grabbed that um, air defense, but it was it, that last balloon did its job and pulled that black mine uh, that's oh, yeah. sitting in front of that air defense. So really you can drop a hound on that low level air defense and it's going to take care of it. And then just Sui's the, Sui's his heroes in from 12 o'clock and just take all the Tesla's out. And there's like a little V shape now in the, in the base, right. For his, for his lateral pathing. So it just sort of works yep. out. Perfect. But I think the mistake he makes is with his spell placements coming up here. Nice little raid. Well, the I think the biggest mistake was that he didn't put any balloons onto that cannon at the six o'clock, and mm -hmm. so a lot of balloons turn around to go after it. Yeah, but uh, this heal spell I don't agree with right there. I think it should have been one more haste and then sort of heal um, the other two wizard towers. I don't know, or get that haste down. He needed that haste down earlier, right there, because his balloons sort of fizzle out. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Uh, the baby drag comes in to save the day here. <laughs> it was the most important spot for the for the for her, for the heal. The I heel, agree. Yes, Place. yes. But he did need the haste down because after he got through those defenses, there wasn't anything left, so there's no reason to not rush him. Yeah, yeah. Like really, you're just you're just. Like, I know the, the general thinking with the heal spells on loons is you don't want to haste them because you want them to benefit from the heal. But I think that was an, a good a good example of, like, an exception to that rule. Yeah, but it's a, the biggest mistake in uh, most law loons is to, is when your loon, your balloons have to turn around. So if you don't put it... Or each, each defense has a specific number of balloons that you need to kill it. And you drop that many on that defense... And if it doesn't, and uh, you have a straggling defense and things have to turn around for it, it takes them a long time to get caught up, yeah. and then that's in the front wave, and, and then one they get... one order, one Tesla, something can just totally fuck your pathing. Because then they go like, oh. outside of the hastes, and then... It, yeah. Um, okay, so awesome. Uh, as a little example, like Tanu, that's basically his go-to attack. That's Sui Lalo. Um, <laughs> It's funny as you like war with people, you sort of see their preferences to their attacks because most bases you can use 
almost any strategy. I wouldn't say quite make that full statement, but <laughs> with enough tries. Well, some bases have certain weaknesses, like the next yeah, one we're going to look at. Absolutely. So um, this was your hit, uh, classic Eric's and Dragons. And uh, so just hit me in here, I'll pause it up. And what did you see about this base that made you say, hey, I'm going to use Dragons? So one of the dead giveaways for a Zepquake uh, Dragon is when you see two sets of air defenses in a tight group on the outside perimeter of the base. It makes a, a really good option for a, for zapping one set and then uh, lolloing another set. So uh, since there are two sets here, you can kind of choose between which one. Uh, but generally, I didn't. Or if you notice that a lot of the area around the town hall, has a lot of spaces for Teslas or stuff like that, but the area around it, 9 o'clock, does not. Yeah. So I figured if I do those set around 9, then I'm not going to have a Tesla. There's a, not a likely chance that a uh, Tesla will pop and mess up my pathing. And most people don't put black mines in that close to their uh, air defense set like that. So I thought I'd put a baby, or zap the left one, and uh, put a baby dragon, and that would form one side of my funnel. So, then I needed to form the other side of the funnel. Uh, I, so, I I started the funnel to basically sue my heroes in and kill one of the other air defenses. And that uh, normally I would try to get a little bit tighter a funnel on my dragons so they'd shoot straight to the center of the base. But if you notice in the, in the center of this base, there really aren't a lot of defenses. There's the CC, the Queen, and the Air Sweepers. But there's no... There's not packed in there with extra defenses. Yeah. So I wasn't really worried about shooting my dragons straight into the base. And if they lingered and pushed along the bottom of the base after their entry, there it wasn't going to be a big deal. I, yeah. That's where the defenses are, so I almost wanted them to stay there. And they eventually worked their way up, and I just needed to start my back-end law loon before they reached the air defenses. Yeah. So then from there, it's just... Uh, and where do you blimp? 12 o'clock? Yeah, and then the uh, blimp from... Uh, 12, the 12, 12 o'clock inferno, so just to yeah, drop it with a couple balloons to trick one behind it and take off the archer towers. But yeah, right. after that, there's nothing left of the base. No. no, no. All right, let's uh, let's hit play. So you're zapping. You zap the left side. Oof. I got lucky hearing the air it's defense. Super. One of the air defenses went down on the second one, so I. Got to move that yeah. lightning a little bit. Yeah. And get damage on those cannons. Wow. And that baby D's going to get crazy value there, too. Because <laughs> it's just all the like, cannon mortar. It sucks to go to the air. It would have been nice if it went to the left. The king? No, your baby dragon. Oh, yeah. It, it was fine. It didn't really late. matter. Going to the dragon, sir. And like you said, you sort of almost want to take the dragons now from six to three, and then up to twelve, kind of inside. The exactly. Base. I don't. Yeah. I don't really care to go through that core because yeah. there's nothing in there. If I get a nice sweeper on the way through, that's great. But I don't really have a reason to go into the core. So I get the freeze down and the rage to get through that first inferno. Yeah, that's perfect. I, this was a fresh perfect. hit, so I didn't know. See, see, I had the poison ready. Nothing came out, so I ended up uh, poisoning the queen there. Just. Lalo CC? Pretty much swag. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. But then come in the Laloon, just uh, two balloons on that cannon, kill it, and then the rest of them onto there to overwhelm it. Nice early mini on the town hall as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just get it started. Well, fuck, Maybe. yeah. Like, We're, uh, I knew Goblin. it was going to be by itself over there. So many balloons, though, at this point. Really, those wizard towers. Trying its hardest, but yeah, and most of them are the max level ones. Absolutely. Drags get caught up on the king for a second, but it was kind of good, and then just sort of let the loons get up front. And, yeah, smashed it. One, two, three, four, like five dragons and fifteen balloons still. <laughs> All balloons. Yeah, it, uh, it was not exactly as planned. Yeah, boring. Yep. All right, what did I say next? Um, was it 12 as well? Oh, yeah, neon. 
your classic, just sort of standard, more standard bitch. This is what I'm saying. Like, you know, you're still, she's still bringing three freezes. It's just like more bowlers and less flank. I mean, that's sort of yeah. how I look at it, right? So, uh, I was actually going to hit this one with dragons as well. Uh, but I, something stood out to me that a, a made it, uh, yeah. Okay, sweet. Um, sorry, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I was uh, looking at this one. If you notice, the air defenses are in that same configuration as the other one. So this one also could have been uh, done with dragons. You just, uh, I don't know, it'd be almost exactly the same flow as the previous one, where you just zap quick one of the air defense sets, form a funnel with a baby dragon, and uh, use heroes on the other side to form the funnel, and then just shoot through, and then blimp the backside inferno. So, yeah. uh, but in this, I left this one for. Uh, for a bitch attack or a frozen witch instead, because uh, the you have a nice alleyway right down the core. You have a, uh, that you can get both infernos as you pass through the core, so that's good for frozen witch and bitch. But also both of the flanks don't have any air defenses, and you can exactly. uh, walk groups down the flanks with uh, your, and keep your healers safe. So it meets the requirements for both. And well. One, one thing I, I would want to point out, too, is I find um, Neon looks for these types of bases. We, some of us, all of us do um, these, like, rectangular-shaped bases with these sort of longer alleyways in the core. Because yep. like, once you sort of get the wall wrecker up in the core, it, the, the kill squad has the whole base. And um, it's like she doesn't even bring a jump. Well, she, if you look how the right around the CC where the wall compartments are. If you can get into the alleyway there, then you don't really even need a jump, uh, which is why she brought more freezes. Yeah, because no, exactly. If you get those bowlers in there, they can bounce off of every single one of those buildings off of those lanes and uh, and get pretty much everything on the backside. Yeah. And, so uh, they don't even need to leave there. Let's uh, start watching this. Um, All right. So yeah, just that witches on the flanks, and she knows the healers are safe. So they Notice how she puts them nice and wide so the, so the healers never have a chance of going inside of those air defense range. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And everything into the core. We're gonna make the we're gonna make the compartments she needs to. Queen's in a, in their inner rage, CC's poisons. Down goes that first inferno. Nice heal, sort of on the back end, freeze on that back end inferno. Let's that queen get in there with the rage and the bowlers, and they get everything. They just have access to pretty much everything. Look at her flanks. Both healers still alive on both sides. Just it's crazy. No chance. We right. crushed it. But uh, yeah, definitely drags. Because drags would have been the same kind of deal. Like you could have just funneled straight across that base. The base is almost set up for it, right? Oh yeah. Um, but I guess I mean that's sort of true with a lot of attacks. Those it's, it's just sort of that rectangular shape of base. It just is a natural funnel almost, right? Yep. <clears throat> um, okay, and then ten was that the last one? Yeah. Manny Marco going in. I was looking at this one. Um, I didn't like so it Rupert. because what you were saying, the reason I didn't decide with this one is because the Inferno Towers, when you get in the core, there's no guarantee your troops are going to target those Inferno Towers if you came right from six. And I just didn't like exactly. it. It was too spread out. Uh, yeah, the only so. thing that can get them is the Queen, and there's not a lot to... Uh, Unless you let your funnel form really uh, form your funnel really established before the queen goes in, yeah. she has a good chance of walking on you and never actually going in to take out those infernos, anyways. Yeah. So it's a it's a really dangerous witch attack here or a bitch attack. Yeah. So I like Togs because it's just sort of standard. Like he uses the king on the left side, has the golems. It's a standard go home with bowlers in the clan castle. You know what I mean? It's like. Um, oh, sorry, Valks. Brings the Valks. No bowlers. Uh, which worked out good, too, because it busted that wall. Well, we tried this uh, base. We This one was attempted a few times. Uh, basically, the only thing we changed in the composition from attempt to attempt was what was in the CC. 
yeah. what we brought in a wall worker. And we tried it with Valks, we tried it with bowlers, uh, but everything was kind of... Or The problem is uh, those two expos right behind the queen. If those don't go down, then uh, you, you don't have pathing for your hogs to stay along that back lane. On the outer edge, yeah. Or exactly. and split up and never actually go back to the king. And so they basically, if you come in from either queen from three or nine, as soon as they approach the core, they go through the expos and not back through those air defenses. And then as soon as they leave the expos, they split in every direction, and then you lose them all. So the expos going down was a was a vital uh, thing that needed to happen on this yeah. hog attack. Yeah, that was perfect. Those valves just ripped through that wall into the rage. <laughs> Sweet. Just a standard go-ho. I noticed that the queen just got in that little center spot and just... Yeah. She was out of the range of everything and just kind of taking stuff off. That was great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was got a little bit of luck there. Yeah. But this is a this is a fantastic base. I it was very difficult to beat. We got lucky. Yeah. So I mean, we that that covers most of it. I mean, uh, I showed a couple of minor hits. That would be the only other attack. Um, I would say that is sort of the norm for Town Hall Ten right now. Um, sort of the array of everything. Obviously any of the attacks like there's a standard sort of army comp but um you're always making adjustments and then you know you look at like going from a bitch to ice witch there's little reasons people have for using one or the other right um, oh yeah I mean, what's in the cc makes a big difference too that as well yeah for sure um anyways so uh that sort of covers most of them um now I wanted to give you the opportunity uh, to. I think you sort of took a look at it. I'm pretty sure you hit it uh, to take a look at my base and sort of give a rundown of what you think. Um, I have to go on my tablet though. Yep. And I'm not sure if you have already looked. Did you look already and build an army, or no? Uh, I looked at your base. Yeah. Alright, so show you freaking three star dead. Oh boy. <laughs> you sure did look at my base. <laughs> <laughs> um we should put a real CC in there though. Uh yeah, you wanna switch it to uh, lava? Um you can choose do you want damage or like a lava? Uh throw a, a lava in there. Okay. So I'll show I'll show how the lava can mess up a uh, frozen witch. Because yeah. uh, I just hit it as an FC a little bit ago with the, when you had bowlers in the CC. So the lavas can make a big difference on yes, whether it's yeah. or not. And then I got a, a Sui Lava prepped. So if you have trouble with a, a base that looks like it could be hit with one strategy, but the lava messes you up. And I got a Sui La Loon prepped to, as a backup oh, nice. the, the secondary attack. Mm -hmm. Always a fine viability now after watching um, watching those couple of minor hits by Warble and then who else had a minor hit? Scorpion, I think? Uh, I think Warble had two of them. No, no, he didn't. Somebody else Scorpion had a minor hit. Did. Scorpion did. You got like 36 miners plus miners in the, in the clan castle. Anyways, huh. with the, both were Lalo CCs, I'm pretty sure. And it's it's always a go to, right? Because they just don't do anything with the miners. Yeah, is the when you see that Lalo yeah. Lalo and CC, you definitely want to check out miners as an option to beat it. Uh, um, so, hmm. All right, so on this base here, Hang on one sec, because I can't really scout it. I'm going to have to bring up... We should have given you a picture of it, because we I don't think we look at it at the same time. Oh, you can scout it while I'm scouting it. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, go ahead. I'm All right, so... <laughs> uh... When you see the Inferno split like that, it kind of makes a difficult Frozen Witch. Uh, 
but you can make it work. Uh, basically, if you if you are going to fight split CC or split infernos like that, then it, you need to make sure that you have a way in that doesn't use a lot of freezes into, on the entry. So on this base, you notice uh, basically all there is on the entry, if you do an entry 12 uh, and shoot right down the center, is there's just the king and the queen and those archer towers. And there's really not a lot of other damage coming in. So you can uh, push all the way to the core and uh, into that CC compartment and get good bullet bounces out of it. Uh, if you crack open your wall wrecker there, and uh, then you have a whole lot of freezes, and all you got to do is just be patient and uh, protect your hero uh, from the infernos, and they'll eventually take them down because you have a whole lot of freezes left over. It's funny. That's why I remember I said earlier. I think it was a game uh, talking about uh, how I call it on the fly attacking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah, but you're, you're right. Like, if you can make that queen chamber with bowlers with a rage and heal, they're gonna get a whole lot, a whole lot of defenses. Yep, and uh, with those inferno towers so wide like that, there's gonna be, or if you, there's not a lot for the witches to target in that area other than those buildings, so they won't walk into the inferno range. But you're gonna have a lot of skeletons passing through that area, which will just keep those infernos distracted from the outside. Will also help yeah. uh, your inside group. Yeah. But uh, ready to give a shot? Yeah. All right. So I beat the space without the lava CC. Uh, we'll see if I can do it the same with the lava CC. So I'm going to get the witches on the side. I'll get the healers nice, the outside of the air defense range. And then right away, they bomb my funnel pretty quickly. So we'll get that wall record. Between. Almost immediately. Plus, you could target those mortars. That was nice too. So the witches will stay in nice tight packs uh, going down the sides, which is important so that the, they don't get targeted by uh, anything that they're when they're not getting healed. Yeah. So you see, my wall record is moving through. It's not taking any damage, anything yet. So basically, the only thing that's going to damage it is my well, nothing yet. I can freeze the queen and you see on yeah. one. Yeah. And then I can start freezing these expos and those whole packs of things there. So now I just got to watch my heroes, make sure they're not getting targeted by anything. My wall work is about to go down. I did lose uh, my left flank there. But my queen is finally getting through that lava, catching up. But I got four freezes left up, so I just got to protect my, my heroes. So I just got to watch them getting locked on, which none of have yet. So just trying to be patient. Get that one. I'm gonna kill the witches that are helping out that core group. Get that inferno. You have three freezes, and your heroes both have abilities and fall out. Exactly. <laughs> that back end, a little bit dicey. That little inferno tower farm. But, but I'm not really taking any. I'm not really taking a lot of damage yeah, right now. No splash damage. Just right? here to. Help them move through, but just because I want those witches going into the last inferno. <laughs> those poor point defenses at six o'clock. Eh? <laughs> they're, trying, they're trying so hard. <laughs> you got it for sure. So it came close because the queen stood back and. She never stepped up and took out Inferno because she was locked up with that Lava Hound for so long. Yeah, but you'll still be fine. You got that queen ability. Oh, yeah. And the king will pass her up and... Swats oh, that mortar. Get that mortar. I'm not the proper ability on this next yep. wing. One more. Oh, no, she'll take it out. Oh, you're ballsy. <laughs> it matter, you still have it anyway. King ability. And... Well, she just went down to a bug bomb. Oops. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice freeze. So, even with those split infernos, the the frozen witch can still be really powerful. Yeah. Uh, just need to have good execution. If you you can't do it if there's if the base is really front loaded with uh, defenses, because your wall worker still needs to make a push without using a lot of freezes to make those split infernos happen. So, if 
we see that, then I would not advise the strategy. Yeah, yeah, well done. All right. So I'm glad we got that in the book. Um, uh, oh. What's that? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. Remember, actually, remember the original video, you cut out, you ran into disconnect a, a few times, didn't you? Ran into what? You were randomly, you randomly, like, would disconnect from Discord. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got a good connection yeah. today. <laughs> Man, I'm in this war with my Town Hall 9. I haven't, it hasn't been used in a very long time. I'll just spam witches and win. That's how yeah. Town Hall 9, all 9 works nowadays. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, glad we got this video done. Um, and awesome win, six and zero. Oh. We are uh, we're looking pretty good uh, for the season. So, um, thanks for coming out. Did you uh, have anything else you would like to add? Uh, no, we're all good. Yeah, beautiful. Take yeah. some ass and go seven and zero. Oh. Yeah, we got a we got a bye week this week, right? Um, so everybody's on a bye week. Yep. Yeah, it should be. Uh, we'll be back in, with CWL in two weeks, but. I've sort of been streaming. We just masked um, USA Adults, which uh, was good. I didn't even look at what the breakdown was, if it's um, reasonably even. Uh, okay. We are running, we're both running uh, okay. not your normal CWL no. uh, ratios. So we got both got six Town Hall 12s. So that'll be fun. But. Yeah, seven Town Hall 9s. Oh, yeah. It'll be, it'll be a good time. It's a pretty decent sized war. So. Yeah, absolutely. All right, man. Okay. Well, I'm going to head her. Um, thanks for coming out, Eric. And that'll do it here for your wisdom and wiser. Until next time, I'm out.